Peter Treibel, born 43, from Mahaskara, next door to Ballinus Low. Uh, first job, 1965, Department of Agriculture, moved to Mayo, uh, have been in Mayo since. Married in 1976, children, four grandchildren, uh, loved Mayo, liked my job, uh, retired on 65, like all civil servants, and uh, still in reasonably good health, and hopefully that will last for another while. What are your memories of Garbley? My memories of Garbley are all good. I really enjoyed my time here, but I, I don't know whether, I tried to figure out whether it's because I was used to have to work fairly hard at home, whether it was a great break to be in here <laughs> or not. I was here for two and a half years and day by for two and a half years because my mother got sick, uh, got hurt and I had to go home helping run the, run, do the work in at home. Uh, so, uh, Did you I have think, a motorbike? Did you? No, no, I had a racing bike. It's something different than the rest of them. I had a racing bike. I uh, used to often have punctures because I'd be very late a lot of, a lot of mornings. <laughs> one, one morning, uh, Eggy made me bring the bicycle into class and it was the only morning I had a puncture. <laughs> made me bring it in to show on the puncture. Um, but I, I must say I enjoyed, I enjoyed my time here. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I, it was a great experience, I think. And, 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 uh, and anybody that I met about young Garbley, that was a good, everybody had thought it was a good school. Yeah. It's a fabulous setting, isn't it? Fabulous setting, and, fab and I had a, I had a reasonably good time. I used to be, I used to ride out with, with, with Father Keys here. He, had, he used to have two hundred, and I really enjoyed that for a while. I thought it was, it was fantastic, and, and to get a chance to be riding a horse down the broad walk with something else give you a big idea. It's no wonder the landlords used to look down on people when you're up on a sixteen-handed horse, looking down at people. You're looking down at everything. And it was a wonderful feeling. So. Uh Enjoying life? Yeah. Enjoying life to the full and uh, thanks be to God, health is, is, is okay and, and uh, I suppose that's the main thing. That's what it's all about now. Oh, yeah. Health and mobility? Health and mobility, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Sorry. This is uh, Apollani's room is down here in the bottom. Who was Apollani? Apollani was the matron. Okay. Do you remember her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this corridor was full. Remember the time of the flu outbreak? We were all standing in great crack here all pretending we were sick and we were all sick as it happened but we didn't know it because <laughs> when, we, when we were put up to bed we were dying for about three or four days but it was, uh, it was uh, the whole, everybody, everybody was down and out here. What were they, what were they doing there? Were they queuing up to get Cue, checked out? They were up to get, when they kept a couple of days in bed uh -huh. to a great crack because none of us were sick. No. <laughs> okay. this, this is where the truck boxes were kept. Everybody had to have a truck box because you never got enough. So everybody got cakes in and everything like that, and you had your own, and you had to have your lock on it. And uh, were both of them were in there, and uh, you'd be getting cakes in from home and, and everything. And I remember uh, Johnny Shandy, he worked for us in the bakery at home one time, and then he took over supplying the bread here. And I used to get a lot of buns and everything off him, and I'd meet him. They were all going in here to the truck boxes.